In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download a Steve Smith playlist routine that will help you work on your double stroke roll. I'm going to show you some power user tips for Polynome uh, to explain how you can display things in different ways and how you can modify this routine to suit your own preferences. So first of all, we're going to download the playlist from the public library. So once you've installed Polynome, if you go to the menu and the About Help page, you can register for the public library, which is free. And once you've registered and got an account, on the menu you can go to view the public library. And once you're logged in, you want to scroll down to the snare drum practice pad section. And within there, you want the practice playlists and then go to the Steve Smith double stroke workout. So we'll tap the link to install it. Choose to open in Polynome and it imports the playlist and then you can click view imports and this will take you straight to the playlist manager. So we click it and then tap load and this loads our playlist. So this playlist contains a single preset and it's set to auto advance and play when advancing and each time it loops it adds 25 BPM to the tempo and it goes from 50 BPM to 200 BPM and then it stops. And underneath you can see that the first loop is going to take one minute and 16 seconds. I'll explain in a second why that isn't a minute. It's going to play seven loops for this tempo range here and the total time will be about seven minutes and 34 seconds. So let's go ahead and look at this preset so we can swipe back to the main page. So you'll notice that we can't hear this. So we need to go to the mixer, which is this button under the play button and bring up the volume for metronome 2, line 1. Let's go back to the start. So we've got regular right-hand lead doubles for a bar, and then inverted right-hand lead doubles for a bar, and then regular left-hand lead doubles for a bar, and then inverted left-hand lead doubles for a bar. And then it goes and starts over. So this is our second loop and we are 35 seconds left to go. So that would continue and the reason that the first loop here says it takes 1 minute and 16 seconds is that when the 1 minute timer runs out this pattern may not have completed and Polynome knows that it's going to take another 16 seconds to get to the end of the pattern and then the tempo will increase when the pattern repeats. So when you're practicing to this, you probably want to practice with the sound turned down. And you can still see the sticking here, but you can just play along to the click on the practice pad. Now a power user tip is if you don't want this to be scrolling like this, what we can do is change the actual rhythm in this pattern. And instead of being four bars of 16th notes, which is what I programmed, we can tap on here, unmute metronome. So we'll tap on here and go to change rhythm. And you'll see that we've got four bars of 16th notes and I can swipe to show these. Now one bar of 16th notes fits nicely on the page. So I'm going to clear all and just enter one bar of 16th notes. And then I'll hit done. And you'll see when we play this that instead of scrolling, it then just replaces the sticking underneath. We have to save the changes. Okay, so basically it replaces the sticking each time it loops. What it's doing is assigning the four bar sticking to a one bar rhythm. So if I tap on here and choose change sounds, you'll see that this four bar sticking right, right, left, left for a bar, this little loop here, the, the arrow with the two, says that it's repeating the rhythm to fit under our sticking. And then it repeats it a third time for the left hand lead, and then a fourth time for the left hand lead inverted doubles. So what we could even do is make this two beats instead of four beats. So I could tap on here, change rhythm, I'll delete those two beats, and now you'll see that the sticking changes every second repeat of this. Save the changes. 
and then it will change here. Now, on a side note, this would repeat when this minute timer is up. And if we scroll back, you'll see that it says now first loop is one minute and two seconds. And before it was one minute and 16 seconds. So basically when the minute is up, Polynome just has to finish whatever the longest pattern is between what's in metronome one and metronome two. So you'll see that in metronome one, we've got one bar of four four. And in metronome two, we have half a bar of four four. So Polynome treats the longest pattern, which is one bar of four four, as the thing that it has to complete before it will move on to the next tempo. So to demonstrate that, let me choose a number of repeats. So we'll click on here and we'll choose two repeats. So Polynome is going to play twice and then stop. And you'll notice that it plays twice the longest pattern. So in this case, this is the second repeat of metronome two. This is the second repeat of metronome one. And then it stops. So if we wanted Polynome to play entire sticking patterns every time, so remember we had four bars worth of sticking, all we would need to do if we didn't want this to be scrolling would be to add four bars of a click up here. So I can add four bars. And now one repeat will be one repeat of the longest pattern, which is the top metronome, which will allow us to complete our entire sticking down here. So this is bar one. Bar two, we have the different sticking. Bar three, we have a different sticking again. And bar four, another sticking. And see, we're still on repeat one. And then repeat two as it goes through metronome one for the second time. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and show you how you can customize it if you wanted to spend different amounts of time at the different tempos. So in order to do that, we need to copy this playlist item into our preset library. So I'll tap it to load it. And you'll see at the moment that doesn't exist in the presets library. So what we do is tap on the disk icon and choose copy to preset library. And that will put a version of it in the preset library. And you'll note that if I tap this icon again, now there's an option to load parent preset, which will load the version in the preset library. So now we have it in our preset library, we can add it to the playlist again. So we'll go and view our playlist. And I will click the plus icon and choose add presets to playlist. And then I'll just enter a few copies of this. So we've got five copies in total in our playlist. And then what you can do is tap on the gear icon of each of these and choose the tempo that you want. So let's say we wanted to go 55 BPM for the second repeat. And then you can choose whether you want it to play for a certain number of repeats or for a certain time. So we'll say, Let's play it for two minutes at 55. So we've got 50 BPM for one minute, 55 BPM for two minutes. And then say we wanted to jump up to 100 BPM and we wanted to play that for 30 seconds. So you can see we've got that there and then maybe we want to go to 150 BPM for five minutes. And then let's say we wanted to delete this last one, we can click the pencil icon, select it and delete. And at the moment, this is then going to loop and the tempo will increase by 25 BPM. So it would jump to 75 for this one and 80 for this one and 125 for this one and 175 for that one. But let's say we just wanted to play this through once we can tap on playlist controls, turn off playlist looping. And now you'll see that the first loop is eight minutes and 58 seconds. So that's what it's going to take us to play this whole routine through. Let's say you have an exercise like this with one minute for this, two minutes for this, 30 seconds for that, five minutes for that. 
and it tells us that the whole thing is going to take 8 minutes and 58 seconds. Say you wanted to work on this and you've got 20 minutes to practice. You can actually increase these times proportionally. So you click on the playlist time row and choose set first loop time relative. And what that will do is you choose how long you've got to practice. So let's say we've got 30 minutes. And you'll note when we click done that it increases the time of all these relative to what they were before. So we were one minute for this one and it's now four minutes 16. I think we were two minutes for this one and it's now six minutes 48. So basically you're spending relatively the same amount of time as you were before. It's just been increased against those tempos. And the whole practice routine is going to take you 30 minutes and 33 seconds. So hopefully that gives you some idea of how you can use Polynome to create practice exercises. So you can find out more about Polynome at polynome.net. And if you have any questions, you can always contact me through polynome.net contact page. Or if you have the app, you can just contact me through about help on the contact us link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.